So this is the second uh, in a series of videos looking at overwintered vegetables for harvesting in spring. And this one is going to be all about salad ingredients. And so let's take a look. So now we're taking a look at uh, salad ingredients. And most of the ones that we've been eating over winter and will continue eating until uh, probably about early March sort of time are these lettuces in the polytunnel and you know that lettuces make up the kind of dominant proportion of our salads but we also have some nice extras so one of our firm favorites is claytonia or winter miners lettuce this grows well in the polytunnel even under a little bit of shade like these and we're on our third harvest of these so you just cut the top leaves off and new ones grow through from the bottom. Also a big fan of tatsoi in salad mixes and again these are growing in the polytunnel but we've got some outside in the cold frame. So I started these back at home on 6th of December and planted them out in early January and so that was only three weeks ago and looking really nice now. They put on some really good growth, really nicely established and so these should be ready before the ones in the polytunnel have finished. I really like spinach in my salad mixes as well. So we're kind of taking the baby leaves off any of our spinach beds. And, uh, but we've got some dedicated beds for baby leaf which are coming on. So these should be ready in a few weeks time. So about the sort of middle of February. So we'll start picking these for baby leaf and then about a week later that bed should start coming on stream. And then after a few weeks we stop harvesting them for baby leaf and we just start or continue harvesting them for cooking. And underneath this little low tunnel this is the next bed that we'll be taking baby leaf spinach off. And at the back of this bed we've got a row of peas. I think there's three peas to a station there and they're going to grow up between these strings until about April time and then I'll take this low tunnel and move it somewhere else and let the peas and the spinach and whatever ends up being in that bed there replacing that tatsoi uh, grow on and so hopefully we'll be harvesting fresh peas for our salad mixes they're a mulch 2 variety Oregon sugar pod started 1st of January so we should be harvesting those towards the end of May. And no salad for me is complete without a nice bunch of salad onions. These are the ones we're harvesting right now and they're really lovely. And then in a few weeks time when I finish harvesting this bed and get it replanted, switch over to these plants in the polytunnel. And it's, it's interesting actually that Salad onions don't seem to grow very well in the polytunnel in October and November. I think it's a bit warm for them, but come sort of February time, uh, they grow really well. So we've got a beautiful crop off these. So over winter, we've been eating a lot of these full lettuce heads. These are Brighton and we've got quite a lot of new lettuces on the way. So let's take a look at those. So these are my youngest lettuce plants and I actually started these 8th of November and I planted them out in December and they did get a little bit of a knock back in the really bad frost that we had which was minus 9, minus 10 out here but they've all kind of recovered nicely and so I'm pretty pleased with these and in fact I'm going to pop radishes in the gaps in between because there's quite a lot of space in this bed and I really want some radishes in spring and then I've got all of these lettuces as well and I planted these so same time basically so um, 8th of November and I planted them out in between these rows of carrots. These carrots have all finished growing so I took the tops off them and harvesting these obviously for salads and for cooking 
and they're all still in great condition because again they're under a little coal frame top the lettuce has grown really nicely I've just lost two to slugs but uh, yeah, got to expect a few losses uh, this time of year but they're growing on really nicely and probably leave some of these to harvest as full heads and harvest some of the others as individual leaves talking of carrots I've got some carrots here which I started 25th of October and took about two three weeks to germinate and you can see that they're coming on really nicely so these will be the carrots that we'll be eating in May we'll be eating the ones that I've just shown you all the way through uh, until April and yeah I'm really looking forward to these beautiful fresh salad carrots a couple more that are well on from my October sowings and then these are the ones that I started actually uh, 2nd of January and I actually germinated them in the house and then as soon as they germinated I brought them down to the allotment and they've just been in the polytunnel and they're growing on really nicely and then these which are effectively sown at the same time there's nothing no sign because I left I actually sowed these in the polytunnel where it's been a lot colder and so germination is a lot lot slower quite a lot of salad onions in the ground back at home as well which uh, I might just pop up just for you to see and then these are the next batches of salad onions the ones that we'll be eating in sort of May and June uh, I've got some white Lisbon here I've got Guardsman there and beautiful purple Leela there that is pretty much it for the salads apart from a few frig sprigs of parsley maybe a bit of chard and celery for more details of anything that i've talked about in this video i highly recommend you take a look at my ebook it's free to read there's a link to it in the description down below and in particular i recommend you take a look at the individual growing guide section because that's where you want to get details on spinach and lettuce and all the different types of brassicas and you know asian greens and whatever you're interested in uh, but if you've got the bigger picture, you know, you want to understand how to be self-sufficient, for example, or you're just new to gardening and you're interested in the basics of gardening, or you want, you're an advanced sort of, you know, well-experienced gardener, you want a bit more details on advanced growing techniques, all of that you can find in the ebook as well. So if you're interested in that, take a look down below and uh, yeah, let me know what you think. So I hope you like this quick video. My name's Steve. This is the Seaside Kitchen Garden and Allotment Channel, and I'll see you soon.